Hey, Lori, thank you for coming on uh, Burn the Ship. Uh, we appreciate it. Burn the Ship is a podcast uh, that uh, really uh, highlights uh, entrepreneurs and and uh, people that have been in business for a while. We want to hear your successes. We want to hear your failures, uh, all your all your advice for everybody. But I'm just going to give you the floor. Let us know what you do. Sure. Uh, well, thank you. Um, I'm Lori McDowell, and I am a coach, a life and mindset coach, an author, a speaker, and I help people, particularly um, high achieve. My main audience is high achieving women, often chemical engineers who are either in the corporate world or new to running their own businesses, and I help them get their mindset right for success. Um, Often, you know, the difference between business success is not necessarily what we do outside, but the part between our two ears. So 100%. I have to work on that, and that leads to success everywhere else. Do you? Uh, so uh, why uh, chemical engineers? What, what's the? What's the? Uh, the I mean, uh, it, yeah, it's really all engineers, not just chemical. I am. A, I was a chemical engineer for thirty years, and if I knew the things I know now that I've studied coaching that I knew as working with a chemical engineer, it would have just made my, my life, my career so much better. And I think engineers don't really get the kind of life and mindset coaching and women engineers have a lot of challenges. So I can kind of relate to them on the, the engineering side. And then I also have the, you know, the coaching side, the, the, the woo woo, the, the energy release and all that. So I think by bringing them together, it's just a, an audience that I, I enjoy serving. And like I said, I work with anyone who wants to improve their mindset to get their life. But the, but the engineers is an area where there's not a whole lot of coaches that, that focus on them. So. Oh no, it's a very niche uh, vertical that, and it's really cool. What is, so when you take chemical engineer, we talking about like pharma uh, that that type, or are we talking about more like a DuPont chemical engineers? It could be pharma. It could be people working in government, um, oil and gas, energy, chemicals, really anywhere. Um, uh, you know, I work chemical engineer, civil engineer, mechanic, basically anyone who's, um, you know, a lot of the people I work with are some of them work in government, whether on government proposals or on infrastructure. So there's a lot of That's different things. So what do you, so when you work with them, uh, you're obviously not, oh, well, I wouldn't say obvious. You're, you're not working with them with their craft. You're working with them with the, on the business aspect and their mental, their, their, just, just what they do on an everyday basis. So talk to me what a day looks like of, of helping these, these folks. Yeah. What I've found is that a lot of, um, a lot of people working in corporate, particularly the engineers, they, they have a, a good job on paper. It looks like they're successful. So they have a great salary. They have a, you know, a good job, they have a house, they have a car, they have 2.5 kids and they just, they've got everything that if you looked at me, they said, wow, they have a great life. And yet most of them are kind of going around, never really thinking about, is this really what makes me happy? Is this what lights me up? And be, because they're not, you know, they're not down at that rock bottom, it's harder to change. I mean, it's easy when you're, when your life is awful to make a change because you only can go up. But when your life is like mediocre, it's kind of hard to think about changing it because it's not that bad. Yeah. So I help them figure out, you know, part of it is getting to know yourself. Like, what is it that you really want? Are you happy where you are? If you are, what can you do to make it better? And if you're not, where do you want to go? What's your why? What are your passions? And then once we figure out where they want to go, we look at what they need to get there, what they have to overcome. And then, you know, there there might be some, some negative uh, beliefs they need to get rid of. There might be limiting, you know, limiting beliefs and limiting decisions, something in their past holding them back. And we work on getting rid of that and then set up a, a strategic action plan to move forward to get them where they want to go. That's great. Yeah. I, I think that there's a lot of, uh, a lot of industries that like that besides the chemical engineer. Cause I, yeah, they're, they're, you know, as an, an American median in income, they're doing way better than that. Uh, in fact, I have a, a good friend of mine that uh, was was an engineer for uh, Chevron, and you know he became an entrepreneur. He just he just quit a great job because he just didn't love it, and he went out on his own. and And he's he's doing some tech tech stuff uh, with a an Uber Eats type thing, and and he delivers boats. And the guy got has a has an engineering degree and worked for Chevron for years, and and but I always say this too because we're in the sales game anyways. We're you know I'm a payments person. It's it's hard to find sales reps that 
have been in an, in another industry, another vertical for a long time. Cause I'm like, let's say they're selling cars. I'm like, well, how much do you make? He's like, Oh, I make 150 K a year. I'm like, it's going to be hard to switch to what I do because we work on residuals and it takes a little bit to get to that. Um, uh, it's just going to be hard for you to make that switch. Cause you're going to have to take a pay cut and, uh, and, and you'll get back there in a couple years, but it ain't going to happen right out of the gate. So, a lot of people, I feel like they get stuck in a job that they're getting paid well and they don't love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, they just get stuck there, and and it's it is hard to change because it's hard to leave something that's you know somewhat. It's what you do, it's your identity. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. So, do you kind of uh, do m multiple things? Do you help them uh, in a mental place with what they do right there, and say, hey, this is actually what you love to do. There's other things keeping you from loving it, or hey, you need to switch altogether. It really depends on the individual. Some people are ready to switch. Some people hate what they do and they're really not happy and they just need that little push to help them to switch. Other people like what they do, but maybe they, they need to take more control. You know, they love their job, but their boss is telling them they have to work 80 hours a week and they need the courage to say, look, I'm not working 80 hours a week. I love that. my job and I'm gonna do it, but I'm going home every night at six o'clock. So it really depends on the individual. What do you, how do you, uh, how do you get your clients? How do you acquire clients? Oh, all different ways. Um, networking events, social media, um, just sales calls, um, speaking engagements. Um, I just wrote a book, so I'm hoping that will help me find some clients. So. Sure. I'm always, I'm always interested in, in uh, the acquisition of clients, especially when it comes to business coaches, like consultants, because, you know, uh, you know, it's, it, it's a, uh, everybody does it in a little bit of a different way. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, obviously speaking of game engagements and writing a book that would help. What's your book called? My book is called the reinvention mindset. And what's it about? Give me the cliff notes. The cliff notes. It's, it's about how some people have horrible things happen to them and yet they're able to turn it around and do an amazing thing. Whereas other people, like the people we're talking about, they're kind of stuck and they can't really get out of their own way. And what I did was I looked at the cat, all these people who were able to reinvent themselves and what they had in common and put it together in kind of a simple plan so that anyone can reinvent themselves at any time, at any age, and, and kind of gave them a pathway and a set of tools to help them get there so that they can live the life that, that truly makes them excited and, and that they're passionate about and not just the life they have. For sure. For sure. What is, um, what is something that you like, pro like early on in your career that you made a mistake on? You're like, man, that was really crazy. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, uh, it, what, what's one thing that you messed up on real bad? You know, one thing I messed up was not taking an opportunity that I, I wasn't sure I had everything I needed for it. And I, I was given an opportunity to actually be a sales rep for um, Japan. I would have lived in the US, but I would have dealt with Japan and it was a great opportunity, but I kind of had a fear that, I, oh, am I really good enough? Am I really qualified? And I didn't take it. And I wish I had, um, I think it would have skyrocketed my career, plus given me a great opportunity to do a little more international travel. And I kind of, you know, I wish I had taken that opportunity. I wish I had not tried, you know, I. I didn't have to be qualified. The person that did accept it was no more qualified than I was. So that's I just right. That's usually how it works, right? Myself. What is something that you do great within your business? I am I am really great at working and understanding, you know, what a person really needs and making sure that they're getting that. So I, I think I'm really great at giving my clients and giving my, you know, the people I work with exactly what they're looking for. I can kind of tailor things on even in a group program I can help the individuals get their they need I guess I have a really good intuition at almost seeing what people need before they see it and I can help them get that and help them realize that they do need it that's awesome so uh tell everybody how they can get a hold of you uh websites phone numbers email addresses all that Sure. My email address is L McDowell and it's M C D O W E L L. And it's at reimagine and then the letter U.net. Reimagine U Strategies is my company. Um, my website is similarly reimagine U.net. Well, my phone number is 281 740 2865. 
And if anyone's interested in booking a call with me, that's real simple. It's www.booklori.com. And that takes you directly to And they to can my find all that on your website. That is all on my website, yes. Awesome. We really appreciate, appreciate you being on. We'll try to do one of these things in another six months to a year to see where you are. Thank you for coming on and, and, uh, and have a good day. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.